This is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and I'm super excited because I'm doing a summer DIY collab with some of my really crafty friends. And I'm also going to be able to use Dollar Tree materials. So let's get started. So this collab involves taking something plain from the Dollar Tree and turning it into something fabulous for the summer. So I thought I would do something with a 4th of July theme and make it into a table decor, or it could be something for um, the home decor. But I also wanted to add a bouquet of red, white, and blue flowers that I also got from the Dollar Tree. So this is what they look like. So after you finish watching my tutorial, head on over to my crafty YouTube friends and I will make sure I list their channels below. Okay, so I found these 4th of July theme uh, napkins at Dollar Tree. And it was a toss up between this one with the larger star and then this larger one with the smaller stars. So I thought that it would be much better to fit on this particular glass. So I'm going to Mod Podge it onto my glass. And this is just, I'm used to Mod Podging larger containers. So I'm going to use this smaller container, which would be nice. So we're going to do a matching set or somewhat matching. So the first thing I'm going to do is paint my containers. And you can't beat getting these containers from Dollar Tree and they got a pretty good thickness to them as well. So I'm going to just use my acrylic paint. I'm going to add two coats of Mod Podge. Um, actually, I'm going to add two coats of acrylic paint to this and then we're going to go ahead and Mod Podge our napkins. So I'm just doing smooth, even strokes on this. And you can make a bunch of these and you can do it in whatever theme you like. So right now, um, there's a lot of summer inspired napkins at the Dollar Tree. So you can go and get those and get started on a ton of projects. So much fun. Okay, so I'm going to let this, these dry, and they got pretty good coverage on them. So I actually might not even have to add another coat, because the coverage for some reason is really good. Usually I have to add more than one coat. So I'm going to let these dry, and then we're going to go ahead and apply our napkins. Okay, so these are all dry. And now we're going to go ahead and take a look at our napkins. And I think one napkin should do it. Let's see. And look how pretty that is. Wow. That is pretty. So I'm probably going to alternate cutting out squares. Um, let's see how I want to do this. Once I, do, I really like this border right here across the top. So I'm going to cut it first just to see if it fits. And I could always use the scraps for something else. Let me just see how this looks right here. Oh, I wish I can get that whole star in there. I really like the way that star looks. I wanted to just kind of get it to fit the whole thing. We'll see. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. Let's see if I can fit it. So I'm just gonna do each side. I just cut it to fit each side of my glass container. Oh yeah, that's gonna look beautiful. I'm really liking that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out. 
Okay, so I went ahead and cut all my napkins out and these are two ply napkins. So you wanna actually pull that backing off and it gives your, when you Mod Podge them, it gives it a smooth finish. So I always uh, separate this so that the color can stand out really good on my container. And so um, I'd rather pull off the backing after I'm done cutting it because the napkin becomes very, very thin and delicate. So it's just my preference. So all you do is you just grab it and it actually starts to separate itself most of the time. But I am going to love doing this project. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull off the rest of these and then we are ready to go. Okay, so I have my Mod Podge all ready. And this is what I'm using. So that's what I have in here. I've got my sponge brush and I am good to go. So I'm just going to put a layer on here and I'm just doing it side by side. Just taking one side at a time. I'm just going to line that up there. And a technique I use is to use some saran wrap and smooth it over so that it doesn't, it, it actually decreases the wrinkles when you're putting it on and it doesn't rip your napkin since the napkin is delicate. Excellent technique. Just smoothing it down, I'm trying not to use my fingers. I'm so used to using my fingers. Okay, so I'm just doing each side and it's okay. Um, I'm okay that it's gonna overlap. I mean, I could either cut it off, but I'm just gonna have it overlap, it's fine. So I like to work front and then back and then finish the sides off. And see, look at that. Just transforming glass, basically. And this is gonna look so nice. We haven't even put on the top layer of Mod Podge to protect it yet, and it looks so good. Okay. Do the opposite side here. And I can see I'm going to be doing some more of these containers from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to put some around the sides too. And if you notice, I'm handling it by holding the inside here because if I hold it on here, it's my hands are going to end up ripping it. Okay, let me center that. And when you first apply it, you have enough time to kind of shift it around so you can get it centered to where you want it. And take your saran wrap and smooth it on. And remember, we're going for fun, not perfection. I am really liking that, the way that looks. So it's still drying. And see, I ripped my napkin right there because I, I pulled on it a little bit too much. Okay, so let's see how this other one goes on. See if we can get that to go on. Let's see. Well, I'm going to cut these down. And now that I'm thinking about it, I probably would have cut it exact, kind of, a little bit more off of the edges, but it's okay. I'm just going to keep going. I'll just cut a little bit off the top there, too.
Okay, so I'm going to let this dry for a little bit. Oops, I forgot. I got to do one more side. So I'm rushing through the process here. Yep, just take your time. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to cut this down. I'm really liking this. And once I put it, put my um, red, white, and blue flowers in there, or whatever de decoration you want to put in there, it's going to look really pretty. And I think I'm going to just cut just a little bit more off of here before I put it all the way down on there. Cut a little bit more off of here, too. Just being very gentle with it. See, sometimes when you're crafting, you just have to go with the flow, kind of readjust things. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and smooth this down. I'm always so tempted to use my hands just because I just, I love, I love handling stuff with my hands, okay? Especially when I'm crafting. Your hands are your most powerful tool. I'm just smoothing out some of these wrinkles. But also, the, as we always say, the wrinkles give it more character. Oh, I am really liking this. It's not dry yet, so I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. I'm going to work on the other one, and then I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I'm just letting this dry in between coats and I'm going to go over it with one more layer of Mod Podge just for protection. And so I'm just trying to be very delicate when I do this. And I'm actually trying to go in the direction that I have my napkin so I don't peel it back up. Just being very gentle, not rushing. And don't worry if it's cloudy because it is going to dry so nice. And there is a an outdoor, or I should say a waterproof Mod Podge, and I've been meaning to get some of that, but I haven't picked any up yet. So if any of you have used it or attempted to use it, let me know how you uh, feel about it. But I think it's a great idea um, that they made one that's waterproof. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and let it dry so we can start decorating the inside. Okay, we're done with the Mod Podge and they're all dry and look how cute these turned out they almost look like it's a um it almost looks like it's fabric for some reason it's got a few wrinkles in it and I love it it makes it look like it's covered with with fabric so I am really liking the way these napkins are if I see some more at Dollar Tree I'm definitely going to pick those up but these are just absolutely beautiful I love the way they turned out so we just completely changed the look of of these plain containers, glass containers. So I hope this is giving you some inspiration. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and put them inside of my container. And these are just foam from the Dollar Tree. Okay, and I just, all I did with that foam is just cut it down to size and I'm pushing it in and it's pretty secure so I don't need to glue it or anything. And then we're going to decorate it with these flowers. So, um, I'm really liking these. So we'll just kind of do a mixture and see how it looks. And they don't have to both be exact. Each one can be just different, but these will look so pretty on a table. Just kind of decorate, decorating a table. This almost reminds me of like a superhero type of thing. I don't know, something about that with stripes and the stars. 
So maybe this superhero party, birthday party or something for a kid. I don't know. It just reminds me of that. A mixture of red, white, and blue in there. I had never seen these textured flowers, these um, with the pattern on them at Dollar Tree, so that's pretty nice. Let's see, red, blue, maybe put a white one somewhere in there too. Or just put a, and they just call this a patriotic bouquet. And my sister is going to love these sitting on her table for her barbecue. She's absolutely going to love these. For the 4th of July. Yep. She's going to love it. I know I love them right now. Look how pretty that is. You kind of arrange them. Kind of fix them the way you really want them. Each one is different. But this is so much fun. I hope this DIY collab gave you some inspiration for a summer Dollar Tree DIY. And don't forget to head over and see what my other crafty friends are doing and let them know that Tracy sent you. I think you're going to look love what they do. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And I'll see you real soon. Bye.